Hey, it's Bear from Porta Keeper. Tonight, I got some really cool stuff that came in the mail today. All three of these sets of burrs came from Espresso Outlet. If you're not familiar with Espresso Outlet, they're the main importer of the Turin DF64 grinder. It uses these 64 millimeter flat burrs, and I've been a huge fan of it for quite some time now. So these are the standard burrs that come with a the grinder. They're made from Ital Mill. And I've been extremely impressed with them. I actually have a Super Jolly that uses the same burrs, but they're actually ma made by Mazer instead of Ital Mill. So been extremely happy with these Ital Mill. They, they've really surprised me. I'd just not heard of them much. So let's take a look at what all came in the mail. The first set is, 64 millimeter multi-purpose red and I've already opened these up comes with some literature the authentic SSP grinding hologram sticker you can place it on your grinder if you would like and it comes with two burrs so there's the first look at here let's the multi-purpose so that you can read it there's the multi-purpose burrs a little bit different from the stock you can tell how the stock has kind of these additional grinds in the the just the way they cut the teeth where these are more of a uniform tooth pattern and this is pretty standard on all of the SSPs it actually has the SSP logo and then it says this says rotary if we take out the other one, it's going to say base, I think. Fixed. So it says fixed. So this would be the bottom burr, and this would be the top burr. They're going to go together. So that is the multi purpose. Let's put these away. And I'll actually leave this open just so that you can compare them. The next one is going to be espresso, and the red is actually a coating. If you're not familiar with the coatings, the coatings add quite a bit of life to the burrs. They, it, it's pretty extremely popular to add the coating to it. So there is the espresso specific burr, and you can tell it's similar. You can tell it actually has this little bit more aggressive cut pattern to it. These are just really spectacular sharp burrs or you can just feel the sharpness. These are still extremely sharp. I've used them quite a bit. So there's the espresso. The last one is quite a bit different. I'm a big Ditting fan. And there is the Ditting Lab Sweet. If you're not familiar with the Sweet burrs, what they do is they cast the burr first. So they cast these kind of little coves. They're rounded. Let's see if I can focus on it. And then they machine the burr itself. So it gives it a lot of body. And these are quite a bit different. I'm actually really excited to try these. These are some pretty cool burrs. So those are the main three styles that Espresso Outlet offers. Here they are up close. You can see how these are more of a uniform. These are the multi-purpose. These have that additional cut. It looks like it has the same number of teeth or just cuts. And this is for um, espresso specifically and then this last one over here this silver looking one it is the lab sweet um, when it comes to deading the sweet is extremely popular with espresso I'm, I'm actually extremely excited to try it with espresso so what I'm planning to do is I got some crew sif sifters on the way if you're not familiar with them they are screens and you can pour your grounds into them and then you can shake the sifters and all the grounds will just they'll fall through the holes 
or the we'll just say the fines fall through the holes and then the bigger ones and then all the way up through all these different layers and then each layer has a specific quantity of grounds in it so then you can plot a graph and you can actually look at the graph of each of these a lot of times people use the crew sifters for this sifting out the fines or they just they don't want anything bigger than this they don't want anything smaller than that I'm actually going to use them just to see how these burrs cut on a similar setting. I'm actually going to use my Otago refractometer to just make sure that we are a similar extraction yield. I'm not going to just say, oh, it has to be this extraction yield or it's wrong. We're going to go for what tastes good. Again, a lot of these settings are going to be very arbitrary. This is actually the V1 dial i'm getting a v2 here in a few days so that i can have two uh turn df64 side by side um the the settings themselves i just think are arbitrary if you look i actually can't see it at least it's difficult to see you can kind of see about how thick this is and all of these ssp burrs are considerably thicker so the setting is going to be a little bit different for everyone and the setting is going to be different between the OEM version and these SSPs. So, I don't know, let's take a look. Yeah, it looks like the SSPs are pretty much identical thickness. So they are thicker than these Ital Mill. A little bit thinner. It's hard to see it until I take it out been very happy with this Ital mill but we're gonna have four different styles of burrs to test out so again these came from espresso outlet I'm testing these out for Joe I know a lot of people have a lot of questions on what I want do I want the multi-purpose do I just want the espresso these cast sweet versions uh, I've seen a couple people just really excited about them but I haven't really heard anything about them specifically me personally, I'm really excited for it. I think personally, these two are gonna be probably my favorite, but I've been wrong. I could really see these multi-purpose being pretty awesome as well. And these also fit into your Super Jolly. So this isn't just for the DF64. If you're looking to do an upgrade, I urge you to hit up Espresso Outlet. He's a great guy. He imports a lot of really cool stuff, gives us really fair prices on all these items so make sure to check back i want to do some side-by-side -side tests i want to do some more scientific tests explain kind of how these burrs work it goes really in depth but i don't want to go over the top with them just want to help you figure out what's going to work for you so make sure to check back thanks for watching